Following the ongoing law enforcement operation in Tigray, the state provisional administration is carrying out streaming activities. It is working to ensure peace and security, provide humanitarian assistance, and rebuild infrastructural services. Megale, which was a bright city with a strong population movement, is currently trying to return to its former glory. At a time when the city is struggling to get its former glory, security concerns and the high cost of living have become major challenges. At this time, peace and stability in Megale is getting back to normal. Everyone is back to work. Stability exists in the city. Social services are being provided. After the law enforcement process, the federal government took great care in Megali to prevent troubles. The community has not been displaced and infrastructure has not been cut off. There were robberies in the city. Problems were getting worse when prisoners were released. Now the problem is solved. The provisional mayor of Makali Sita tackled to Haile Selassie said, Out of 370,000 people in need of support in Makali City, 300,000 people have gotten the humanitarian assistance. The mayor noted that there have been changes in the past three months related with security and peace, but there are still security matters due to the lack of public participation in the process. Therefore, as Attackle Tyler Selassie pointed out, a community-based policy service is important to solve the problems. We organize a forum with parents, elders, mothers and young people to discuss together. Out of the 168 wards in Makala, 10 youths from each ward have been selected and 1,680 youths are following their surrounding activities. We have provided the necessary training and orientation. This is a great achievement. Half of the region's police force is now in the operation process. However, we have shortage of force. We need more. If the local community participates actively, security problems will be solved. According to Zamir al Ali, action is also being taken against merchants who increase improper prices. Soon, schools will be opened and students will start education.